<laughs> that is so cute. Man. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, I'm here for it. Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full-length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non-animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you! you. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. You're my lovely white Jenna Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't ever seen. And today, we're kicking it off with another episode of Spy X Family, Spy Family, Spy Cross Family, whatever you want to call it. We kicking it off with that, man, because we enjoyed this show and we decided to follow it up with another reaction after we watched the first episode. So now this is going to be episode two, man. Uh, this show has a very unique premise. Like, that's what I always love about anime. You know, anytime these Japanese mangakas give it up, they give it up the proper way by introducing us to elements that we aren't that familiar with, but we do have some familiarity with it because it kind of feels like Lupin the Third, but it's a spy kind of thing. He is spy, you know? I think. Right, and he's gonna be a family man, you know. So this dude, he must have taken right. notes from Colonel Gal when Gal whooped his ass. All right, the closest thing Lupin ever had to a child was like that Ami girl. Yeah, like you know, like Lupin the Third, he actually had a, a grandson or something up in like the future. And one of them animes, it didn't do that good though. But that's besides the point, man. This anime right here, it's good. It is really good, guys. We really enjoyed the last episode because it just. It's unique seeing this spy having to micromanage his own missions, all the while managing a child who just so happens to have telepathic abilities. And he don't even know about. Right. And right now, it seems like more of a hindrance than an actual blessing. You know what I'm saying? You know how people live when they get kids, especially well, when they she adopt did bless her to shelters. get up in that damn school. Yeah, it did. You know, she's sick. She was, she was on a mission to make sure she got out of that damn foster care. Yeah, she wanted to get up out of that orphanage, y'all, because, um... They was, they, it don't seem like that dude cared. She's been passed around from family to family, from orphanage to orphanage. And, you know, it was it was her time. It was her time yeah. to get her a stable lifestyle. And I do think she's going to become an asset to Twilight in the future. And, uh, yeah, I, I like their dynamic already. It seems like they get along well already, even though they have their little moments. But and then you got to remember, she still is a kid. She did yeah. end up getting herself kidnapped on the last episode hate to say it didn't feel too bad for her because she kind of caused that on her own but i think she did that because she wanted to see him it's his spy ability yeah she, she her was favorite very show curious. was some spy show and now she has a spy for her dad i think that's all she wanted to see was his spy yeah ability. it's like the the odds of fate just kind of clashed together he needed a child that was like at the age of six and she was interested in seeing a spy because she's just so She's a huge fan of that genre, and they, it's an anime that she watches. So yeah, it was like the perfect match. And now I guess my boy Agent Twilight, he's gonna have to find him a wifey now. You know, I don't know if it's gonna be Kadeen or Karen from the last episode because he was disrespecting her to my she was born and shit. He was disrespecting her and all. He said there was nothing smart that came from that conversation, and she, he told her daddy all her business, talking about she is in a criminal activity. And, you know, it was a mess. It was. But anyways, guys, we're not going to hold it up anymore. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. This is episode two titled, Secure a Wife. Kurt. You know what I'm saying? And knock her up. So let me go ahead and hit my screen with code and let's get it. Your. You got some flight attendants or something? Books. Damn. Mm -hmm. Why y'all dissing her like that, man? Y'all ain't all that. Y'all all got on the same outfit. Seriously. Yeah, 
Yeah, like she can't hear you talking about her. Boy. Yeah, they they just throwing all kind of say that this poor girl, she just trying to do a job. It's gonna be her. What? She only twenty seven. Damn. <laughs> she ain't fifty. Hey man, you know how these. She was. Y'all know how these young people live in their early twenties. You too old when you like past twenty five. That's what people would have you believe. I like that dress or that sweater. You can give me no. I would look stupid. In that. You ain't going to no damn party. Fighting like a motherfucker. Now we gonna see how she meets up with my nigga. You should stop lying. That's what you need to do. We'll find a bomb on the street. The Tyrone Big was right around the corner. We ain't gonna lose any more trust in you just because you ain't got a boyfriend. Thorn Princess. God damn, why she looks so missing? Because he's talking about a client, and I'm talking about who trying to be a client this way that night because ain't nothing open but the legs and the ER. But some cheeks, man. What? She like that? Girl, go ahead. Cut him down. Shit. Oh my God, bro. I didn't know she was that much. Well, she be killing those. Yeah, I see. No wonder he called a damn Thorn Princess. Right, it's almost like that activated some in her fucking mind. This bitch is a murderess. You ain't gonna try to extort a chick. Yeah, right. The, the, the kid risk. risky enough. That is a big problem right there. For the time being. I'm not gonna find a woman with pink hair like her. <laughs> Damn. Everybody's taking Really? You don't want one that old anyway, my nigga. But you want them real fresh, man. Nice. I wonder if it's gonna be everybody hiding something from each other. Probably. Cause he thinks the little don't girl. don't have to come out eventually, you know. All of this stuff here. Right. Hey. gonna be on some mystery Mrs. Smith shit. I feel you, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But she think he's serious, though. Oh, don't ruin the form, man. He trying to get up in there. Girl, you could probably kill a first. Exactly. 
I bet them earrings. Right, she just said, I'll just kill them back. (laughs) That little girl, she can read everything. (laughs) Man, she living her best life right now. She getting to experience these cool people. Exactly. It's like, what am I? I got a future moment that can be a spy? Assassin? Oh, yeah, you gotta play Love Doctor. There you go. I see why she does what she does. She doesn't know a better way to articulate She that. don't. She's a little kid. <laughs> Let's go. So they're gonna go out and have a great time and actually want to be together. Or they're gonna go out and have a terrible time right. and they realize they need to be together. I'm just glad she's a capable person. Yeah, I was hoping that. I was hoping it wouldn't just. I be, didn't want no damsels yeah. in distress. She can hold her own. Right. It's like we don't need no walking liabilities. Everybody has their own skill set. Like I said, that buddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all better book it, man. Thirty-eight of them. Yeah, right, man. Okay. Uh oh. Nice. Yes, get them as they going out. No, you think it just stomp the fuck out of them. Psycho Crush. <laughs> they gotta be so thorough, man. Sheesh. Nah, we're gonna get that egg, man. We gonna miss him. Oh, she can get the ring. How do you know that's gonna fit old girl's finger? Hey. Nigga. Oh shit. That's... Damn. Maybe I need to stop talking about her. <laughs> Why though? Why y'all hell bit on making this girl's life a living hell, man? She got on the flyest fit and everything. Right. Hair always on point. She could kill y'all in an instant. She's like, if I kill all the adults here, my brother would never find out. Right. Now look at she ain't on no fucking mission. It'll be game over. What joy do people get out of doing that? Gossiping in your face. Like, I can't hear you. It makes them feel better about themselves. Come on, bro, really? Yeah, you better have one hell of an excuse for what happened to you. <laughs> My nigga all caught up. Too much. Damn. What I tell you? What I tell you? Oh my god! Don't don't waste that shit. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Nina Williams on him. Nice. Nigga, what are you finna sp- 
Get your ass on, girl. Why I hate people like that? Seriously, man. Kill her. X her out, man. You don't care, though. You ain't got no standards at this point. <laughs> this nigga got laughs today. He is an on the spot liar. <laughs> Yeah, it's already finna be over. Shit. You gotta let her in on it now, my boy. Well, she can help you get rid of these niggas. <laughs> let her know, man. Please. Please don't tell me you're buying this shit. <laughs> recovery method, really? Concussive co recovery? <laughs> Gee, that's, the mod, that's the method my mom used to use. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Concussive recovery. Nice. Please help him. Show him you got skills. That nigga rolled all the way to the wall. He did. Huh? Your cover is blown, baby girl. I don't know if they, I want them to reveal what they are just yet. And then we went full through criminal on y'all. Sheesh. Everybody finna get their ass whooped, though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. I bet she a thrill seeker, too. Probably. You know, we could probably, you know, have sex every now and then. Just, right. That's a part of the agreement. Just a part of the agreement. I know Anya wouldn't mind. She probably want a sibling. Right. It's like this bitch, we are literally being shot at and stuff. She wants to get married to me. Oh, come on. Where is it? Sheesh. Uh oh. Nice. <laughs> that is so cute. Man. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, I'm here for it. Do us part. They ain't gonna want to part after this is all over. I can already feel it. You think so? I don't think they are. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> that show is that deal. It is, man. This is Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the anime, you might as well say. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is basically, we're reliving how Brad Pitt met Angelina Jolie and got married before they got divorced. But yeah, really enjoyed this episode. Yeah, man. that was a good episode. Everything seemed to be falling right into place. I knew something happened with the ring. Yeah. But... But that was so Yeah, poetic. it suits both of them right now. She needs a husband because everybody thinks she's so suspicious. And right. you got blonde women at work, you know, trying to trying to expose you and don't realize they just exposing themselves and just like, why are you in people's business like that? Yeah. Then you got I'm pretty sure you know, I can't even I have to redeem um Anya's gift card from the last episode because I was ready to take her gift card away because she had she had got herself kidnapped and was about to blow this dude's cover. But she actually, her singing like that out of nowhere basically got them together. Because mm -hmm. she was thinking, oh shit, he married, let me leave that alone. Yeah. Even though she knew she could have killed the wife, she was like, just leave that alone. In so a she way, yeah. In had a, some decency. In a way, Anya kind of acts as an audience surrogate that could actually do what we want her to do. Right. Like what we would want to do. It's not the way we want it done, but, but she, she knows yeah, how to get it done. So, 
That was good. I'm so glad he got in the party at the last moment. Someone told me he would, but I was like, boy, I hope he didn't just Yeah, he, he is an on-the-spot liar. He knows how to put up a front and stuff, and I just like the different dynamics of each character because everybody has their own ulterior motive. They're not really in it for what they're making it seem like they're in it for. You know, it's like with him, it's just to get a mission done. For her, it's more of a public perception thing. And for Anya, you know, she just wants to be involved with these wants, cool, interesting yeah, people. Yeah, she wants a family too. She's right. you know been in an orphanage. She wants to be involved with. And I like this promotion cool too. Cool people. Yeah, it's got the real them <laughs> on the other side. Right. Yeah. It's like the everybody's animation living don't in this lives. show is good. I, I like the drawing style of it. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this episode an S. Yeah, I, I gotta give it an S too. I just love how they did mm-hmm. that because we knew they were coming together. We just weren't sure how it was going to yeah. go. I'm glad everything is going by pretty quick so that that can kind of just... So that we got the basis of everything. This anime wasn't hard to jump into. You didn't need any background knowledge or anything on it to, to get into it. Right. Now we've got the basis. Now we can see how the missions play out and all that. So mm-hmm. that'll be nice to see. And yeah, we're see pretty... Action. Yeah, like we're right, right on time with this anime, which... It's a blessing and a curse because it's like, okay, now we're at least we're not late. There's no spoilers going to happen for us, but now you can't just go through it and sit here and watch because I'll probably watch all this in a day. <laughs> this yep. is a good show. But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it here because we're running out of time on the clock right there. But yeah, man, we enjoyed it. We can't say any more of how we enjoyed the show. We can't express it in different ways, but shit, we'll be all night if we did. <laughs> anyways, this is your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. Here are my girl, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos. We ain't see the reactions. we catch you guys on the next reaction to Spy Family. See you there. Peace.